Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. Visibility, not really an issue. Most places, 10 is the highest we go on 10 mile visibility. So around here, we've got all 10s, but we are down to a 7 Paris, 8 Mattoon, and then you can see a 5 and 6 up here in Danville and Champaign. They've had some persistent fog all evening up there to the northwest, as a matter of fact, even during the morning. So because of that, they continue with the dense fog advisory. This is till 4 a.m. tomorrow from about Paris to Mattoon and points to the north. I think after 4 a.m., as a front comes through, the wind will pick up a little bit and it will mix that fog up. But if you have any travel plans, especially west northwest of the Terre Haute area, could be at least some fog for a while during the overnight hours. 46 a high today. That's 10 degrees above the average. 25 was our low early this morning. So not so bad on the temperatures. We're probably not going to see anything like that again for several more days, though. No precipitation today. 0.75 is where we stand so far for the month. Sunrise sunset for tomorrow. We've gained a little bit. Remember, we bottomed out at 9 hours and 23 minutes right before Christmas. So we've gained seven minutes. We're up to nine and a half hours now tomorrow. And the river stage in Terre Haute steady at about eight feet. At the airport in Terre Haute, 36, winds are light, pressures rising some at 29.98. Temperatures are a little cooler where they've had the persistent fog and there's snow on the ground. Saturday night, Sunday morning, some of these places get, especially west of Champaign, got seven, eight inches of snow. So that's keeping the temperatures down. Even Crawfordsville and Danville have some snow on the ground. Down here, temperatures not quite as bad, but they were a little bit cool. On the water vapor satellite, there's a little weak front moving in. You can see this band of moisture. Can't rule out maybe a brief little snowflake here or there, some uh, raindrops, but it would be minor if we see much. You'll see it moving in from the west. And again, just way out there on the edge of your screen, you'll start to see a few returns. Those are showing up also west of the area. But on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, not anything out there. Again, can't rule out a few snowflakes or a little bit of rain here and there briefly during the overnight. It would be minor. So clouds tonight, clouds to start today, tomorrow. Some breaks in the clouds probably for a while in the afternoon for a lot of us, but I don't think it's going to last real long. We'll cloud right back up tomorrow night, and we'll stay mostly cloudy as we head into the day on Wednesday as well. Temperatures will be cooler as well over the next couple of days. The wind, not a big deal, but notice it will change and pick up briefly overnight. That's what make, may mix that fog up a little bit overnight. And as we get into Wednesday, we've got an east wind, but again, not real strong, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Longer term, last week we were thinking maybe on Wednesday night, Thursday, we would see a system move in. Well, here it is. But it looks like now it's going to track south and just miss us. So right now we think we'll stay dry all week, dry through the weekend, and probably even beyond that. Here's now looking at Monday. Again, this is a pretty far south system, so we'll take you out even farther. Going even beyond that, mostly away from here. So this goes all the way out now to the 13th of January for the next nine days. Looks like a pretty quiet weather pattern for us. And temperature-wise... The blue indicates cool, not real cold, but cool weather. And, you know, for this time of the year, this is typically the coldest time of the year. Much of the country will be looking at some cool temperatures, but again, not excessive. So for tonight, mostly cloudy, a little fog early, but that should get better as the night goes on as the wind picks up. 30 for the low. Then during the day tomorrow, daytime high of 36 degrees, a lot of clouds, but we may have a few breaks in the afternoon. West to northwest wind 5 to 10 and then after that temperatures are going to stay on the cool side as we take into the rest of the week looks like daytime highs then running in the 30s overnight lows in the 20s and basically dry over the next several days that's your forecast sports coming up right after the break